Yo, what is going on guys? So, this featured crystal is coming to an end. I haven't tallied up yet how many crystals I've opened. I think I'm going to, but it's somewhere in around like 30. 30 featured crystals, which is a crap ton of sh That's so many shards, man. So, we only pulled Hercules a singular time out of here. Only one time, which is good. Uh, one time was all I needed, at least. Um, didn't pull Diablo at all. That was one of my big misses from this pool. Probably my biggest. And then I'd say Medusa was the only other champ. And Iceman. Those are the three that I just totally missed on. Didn't pull them a single time. Which is unfortunate. Because they would have been cool new champs. Um, but at least we got our Hercules. And we did, like, as far as the rest of the champs go, we pulled, I think, everyone else. More than once. A lot of them. Like, Merrick Chavez, like, three or four times. Which is fantastic. But, um, it's all about Hercules today, man. It's all about Hercules. It's always been about him. It's finally time to go ahead and do it. I, I tried to keep opening to save this generic Awakening gem because I it's my only one. I don't have any other class gems. Who knows what 2022 is going to bring. You know, it could be some insane champion that makes Kitty Pride and Hercules both look like Groot. You never know. But, uh, you know, and if that happens, you know, I want to be ready with an Awakening gem, but can't play the maybe the what if game i know hercules is insane so let's just do it boom there oh it feels good to finally do man finally he's awakened son of zeus let's go man now nah, it's been so kind of annoying playing him unduped because like when i die with him i just be like i shouldn't have died there you know like if he was awakened i he wouldn't have so uh hold on let me double check make sure that i don't have any six star sig stone uh crystals let me just double check. Yeah, I don't think we do. All right, so let's go ahead. I think like right now I can get him to like SIG 152, I, I think. Uh, and then once we finish the uh, Karina challenges, we'll get him uh, the rest of the way to all the way to 200. So let's go ahead. Plus five. There we go. Give that. And 16. Let's go ahead and give that. The rest of my cosmic SIG stones have gone to uh, Captain Marvel movie. She's sitting up at 200 in my uh, prestige champs. I think Hercules is going to take someone's place in my prestige, though, which is uh, good. All right, there we go. Sig 52. Yeah, and then with 100 more, that'll take him right up to Sig 152. There we go. That's all the Sig Stones I currently have. Um, but we, like I said, once I do one more of the Karina challenges, the dance off, the Star Lord and Labyrinth of Legends, I'm just waiting for Kabam to hopefully give me my uh, expired revives back. They expired after like a week, but my mail said they lasted a month. So I don't know. Uh, I guess it is my fault for not claiming it from the stash. The stash said a week, but I mean, still, that's pretty bogus. So I hope I get those. It's like 30 revives. So once I get them back. Then I'll go ahead and do the uh, the, the dance off challenge because I, I I traded four GGCs for those. But uh, yeah, there we go, man. So I don't think Kirk's gonna make the profile yet. He's gonna need those last few Sig stones. But uh, I mean, Sig 152 is more than enough to just play him, which is what all I've been wanting to do. So yeah, we are gonna get some uh, some fun Hercules gameplay. I, I can't wait to play him Awaken. This is gonna be so much better. Uh, um, I'll just stay at one percent in AQ. That's that's awesome. So yeah, I'll be back with uh, with some more gameplay. Yo, what is going on, guys? We are back now for some gameplay. And as you can see, it's uh, it's been a little while. We updated the border. We are now got the sick mythic border. Uh, that first clip, Awakening Hype, uh, Hercules. I'm gonna say Hyperion. Uh, the Hyperion on the mind after the new featured. Um, but yeah, we awakened Hercules. I did it on the day that I opened my last couple of crystals. Um, and I've just been getting some gameplay since then. So um, I took Hercules first spin in Labyrinth first here against Star Lord. So I just kind of wanted to, I don't know, just kind of like see his damage output and kind of focus on that in a fight. Uh, so that's kind of what we're doing here. So uh, this fight actually goes like pretty much perfectly. So th this is like a pretty much ideal run against Starlord. You can really just see Hercules' damage. 
dude, I, I knew this guy hit hard, but I don't think I quite realized how hard. <laughs> like, his basic combos are just doing insane damage. There's no boost or anything. I got, like, a, a decent synergy team for him going. Um, something to keep his buffs up, like, 25% longer as well. But this is mainly just Hercules, man. He, he hits like a truck. <laughs> and I love it, man. I absolutely love it. I... Uh, one thing I want to clear up is that um, I am not a Hercules hater. I feel like some people think because I because I say Kitty Pride is is arguably better than Hercules that like I just hate Hercules or, or that like I want to see his downfall or something like that. And that is the opposite, man. I I love Hercules. He's honestly I I enjoy playing him way more than Kitty. I find him so much fun to play because it's like. I'm trying to intercept a bunch, I'm trying to knock them down with heavies when they're not stunned. It's like I have these objectives with Hyperion, like fun objectives. Like I love intercepting. Intercepting is like my favorite thing to do like in a fight. Like it like I love it. And I, I'm pretty good at it. So like I, I just I love Hercules' playstyle. He feels so good to play. And I have way more fun playing him than I do Kitty. When I play Kitty Pride, it feels like I'm cheating. Like it literally feels like I'm breaking the game in a way that I shouldn't be. But with Hercules I feel like I'm just, you know, playing really good and being rewarded for intercepting and stuff, and I love that. So, yeah, I, I definitely not a Hercules hater, man. I, I love him. I, I really do. I'm big, big fan of Hercules, man. He's one of my favorite champs in the entire game, and I just I enjoy playing him so much. I'm so glad that I got him um, originally. At least I pulled him once, um, and no regrets on the generic, because he's, he's so good, he's so worth it, man. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of Hercules praise in this video, there, there might be, so, yeah. Uh, special 2 gives the cruelty, special 1 gives the precision to let you crit. Uh, Hercules crit rate is actually really low, which can be actually be used as a strength, um, you know, in a scenario where you don't want to crit. Uh, you just don't throw special one, don't get the precision, and then your crit rate will be really low. Uh, which Karate Mike was telling me, I was like, oh, that's interesting. But, uh, if you do get an intercept with a special one, you get three precision, and then you pretty much crit, like, 95% of the time. And then if you get the cruelties going, too, we're, we're hitting so hard, man. We're hitting 14,000 medium crits, plus 17,000 additional damage in red. Look at this special two, man. Just so much damage. It's like close to like 30k mediums like that was so quick so clean and just so, oh my god it was so much fun just flexing those pectoral muscles at the end man i wish i could make my pecs dance like that one day man one day uh, um but yeah so there, there's the first fight just destroying star lord there um really really fun fight next up got a little bit of aq for you guys uh, so I've been bringing uh, <laughs> I've almost said I've been bringing, I've been bringing Hercules to AQ map eight. I think every single day since I took him to rank three, and this was when he was back when he was unduped, and I was just using him. I was trying to use him as much as possible in any fight that I could, just to get more familiar with him, uh, his play style, practice. So I've been practicing with with Hercules for for a while, uh, unduped. So I feel like I got a really good handle on kind of how to play him now. Which is great and he's just a mon he was a monster unduped he's just really fun to play now that he's awakened i feel like i can just be like so much more wild with him uh so here's a nimrod mini boss fortunately he was only at uh, at half health by the time um i was able to fight it but hercules is really good for for fighting nimrod uh really really good and uh, it's been good because I've been getting a lot better at fighting Nimrod. I'm actually able able to evade the, that special one now, which is great. So here I'm just trying to get an intercept with the special two uh, to get the uh, cruelty and boom, drop it. Does some good damage, couple hits. He's dead. There's mini boss just dealt with so easily. And then also have the map eight uh, final boss for you guys. One of them, Spider Man 2099. Of course, the Penny Parker fight would be way harder and probably cooler, but uh, unfortunately, I'm not on that side. So, uh, this is technically linked with Powerful from Afar, but uh, <laughs> he's immune to the link. So, I mean, technically, it's linked, but technically, it's not, which is pretty kind of funny. Um, so, this had Mercy on it. Mercy is one of my least favorite nodes, actually, in the game. I just don't, I just find it annoying to kind of deal with, you know. So, I'm going to slowly build that up. 
Uh, just intercepting and stuff, building up my power. And I think I was trying to get to a special two, but I think I ended up going for special three. Um, but yeah, so you got a dex to build up the mercy charges. As you can see, we're at five. And then just parry to start your basically your attacking window. And the higher the numerical value of that little heart sign, the longer the window of attack you have essentially. So here at eight, you see here I accidentally get pushed to my special three. So I'm going to parry to start that attack window. But I, th I think we end up turning off Mercy. I, I don't know how. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Mercy gets turned off because I just start doing my damage normally. Um, so Hyperion, or yeah, <laughs> I got Hyperion on the mind. Uh, <laughs> I swear I'm not doing it on purpose. Um, <laughs> Hercules has a really cool ability with his special three. He gets that indestructible buff. And it's only like four seconds. You you might think like, uh, you know, what's the big deal? It's just an indestructible buff, you know. But that it's actually Hercules and Kitty actually have a very similar play style actually with their special threes. Um, you can push your opponent to a special three, use yours, and then you're safe. Uh, Hercules with his indestructible, Kitty with her phase, which essentially isn't indestructible. Um, but yeah, so there are actually some similarities between them. Uh, which I'm going to show you guys in a later fight. Didn't really come into play here, but in a later fight will. So here, drop special two does like 80k on the final hit. We would have died, but we trigger our uh, immortality and get the boss kill. So here we go, map eight, uh, AQ boss just linked technically, just destroyed. 13 million points for the day. All right, now we're going to jump into some 7.3. I don't remember which quest this is, but we got we got power reserve, we got some paradox shenanigans. Um, we don't really have ability accuracy unless we have three paradox charges. The way to get paradox charges here is by either champion throwing specials, and when the opponent gets knocked down, we I think we lose a paradox charge. So the more specials, the better. Which with power reserve, you know, there's going to be a lot. Again, got a little bit of a Hyperion Synergy team going here, so we're going to start start off with uh, three charges, which is nice. Uh, how Hy how Hercules' is, uh, persistent ability works is he can only gain a max of three per fight, um, and you, you gain these feats of strength through doing either getting up after being like knocked down, which is an easy one, but, you know... Hopefully you're not getting knocked down every fight. So, you know, if you're playing perfectly, usually that, that one will come into play. Uh, but the other ways is just by getting intercepts and by uh, using a heavy tax on a not stunned opponent. Uh, so it's nice to kind of start with three. But re realistically, if you're playing, if you're not getting knocked down, you know, you're really only making like two persistent charges per fight. But I, I don't mind that. Actually, like, yeah, sure. It's nice to go in with a bunch to, to go with like, full feats of strength with 12, 12 charges and this is something that I, I i didn't really understand when before i had hercules when i was watching hercules gameplay and stuff and i was watching it in war and i was thinking like okay so this is a ramped up hercules like okay and i, I didn't really know what it meant and what it took to get ramped up but it doesn't, I don't think it really matters, like, if you're ramped up or not, because, like, in a fight, I find it very easy to just ramp up in any given fight, especially, like, a boss fight or something, like, you know, if you're just intercepting regularly, you're gonna be building those feats of strength up real quick, uh, and I like that, I really like that about Hercules, I, I don't think you need that to build him up, to build up that persistent ability, you know, for, for boss fights or anything, like, it's really not needed, it's, it's nice, but I, I don't think it's needed, needed at all, and of course, Hercules' ability, you see right there, apply that kind of taunt-looking debuff. Uh, I think it's called an Enrage or something. I don't even know what it's called, but basically just makes the opponent more aggressive. So, like one or two hits, back off, and you'll apply the debuff. And doing that makes them just more inclined to fall for your intercepts. It makes them easier to set up, so uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Makes intercepting with Hercules way easier, actually. And uh, special intercepts like that... <laughs> Look at that man, just destroyed him, which is pretty nuts. Uh, I think we also are getting some uh, increased special attack damage based on our Paradox charges. So we got some tricky fights upcoming. Here we have a Nova. Uh, so <clears throat> originally I had Black Panther on the team. 
which gives unblockable special attacks. But I saw this Nova and I was like, ooh, all right, let me take that synergy off because uh, if I have that, it will do a lot of reduced damage against Nova if we're unblockable. So we just took a fat combo, but it's fine because, you know, we're Hercules and uh, we have our immor immortality to fall back on if needed now that we're awakened, which is fantastic. So here, go for an intercept just to trigger that auto block. And now I'm just trying to build up to my special too. And, you know, do some damage. Things are getting kind of bad here. I don't want to bait out his special two. I don't want to bait out his special three, that's for sure. So here, go for my special two. And he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> that last hit did like 100k crit. And then the damage in red was like 112k. Dude, that was over 200,000 hit on the end of that special attack. Oh my god. <laughs> that definitely was increased by the... by the. By, I, don't, I don't know if it is prowess or not. But we, we are getting special attack uh, increase for, for our Paradox charges. Uh, which definitely made that hit so big. Um, yeah, that was... Dude, that was a nutty special too. So here we're fighting the Kingpin. As you can see, my my spacing is pretty much flawless on Kingpin. I fought this guy a lot. I actually learned this spacing um, back in the day when I was fighting him with Stark Spidey. Uh, Kingpin was a semi-popular defender back in the day, and I remember using Stark Spidey. Uh, I would try to build the maximum amount of poise charges on his special one, so I'd, I know the spacing on how to dex every part of it. Uh, that's why I know it. Uh, came in handy here to get the, a good knockdown when he's not stunned uh, with the heavy. Uh, but yeah, it's just special two, special one, Kingpin's dead. Herc is just rinsing this path. Uh, next up here we have a couple tricky fights. We got Arcus and then a Nick Fury. So Arcus, I was uh, a little worried about here because you no, know, he's already gets an absurd amount of power. Pair that with power reserve. Pair that with his, uh, you know, cold snap. We're kind of at a quarter of our health. Boom, here, mess up an intercept and get taken down to 1%. Now we're in our uh, immortality phase. So this is where that signature ability is so strong. Finally, I'm able to really show it off. So here, boom, get the special two intercept. And he's dead. He's just dead. <laughs> Man, uh, I'm so worth, Herc is so worth that generic, man. Just absolutely no regrets on my end. Um, he's so much fun to use, man. I love, I love, love, love playing him, man. Uh, he's so much fun. So here, just going to throw a couple potions in here just because, so, you know, Nick Fury, he's a little scary, 4,000 health. He kind of has, you know, a cheat death too, like us. We have our immortality. He has his life model decoy. So, it's an even playing ground here with Nick. Um, but yeah, he can also go unblockable, so a little scary. But I think I just wanted to... What's the plan here? Get to my special two, definitely. Try to kill his first life. Um, so here, just of course, going to push him to those special twos, because we don't want to bait the special one. No thanks. So here, boom. Oh yeah, I wanted to get my... I figured this was going to be a bit of a longer fight, so go ahead and drop the special one. Fortunately, take a combo, then take an unblockable special one, but I <laughs> take another combo, but uh, we're immortal. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. So this fight obviously wasn't going well. <laughs> it was not going according to plan. But then I remembered, wait, so here, this is what you can really do. This is the full potential of Hercules special three. So watch this. Uh, we trigger that indestructible. We push Nick Fury to his special three. And he didn't throw it, but uh, you know I was unblockable, so I'm not gonna waste time. I get to another special three of my own. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this. If you throw your special three when they have a special three, you also get, I believe, it's a full bar of power back. Uh, so that helps us get to another special three. Now Nick Fury is gonna throw his special three, but again we have that indestructible buff, so we're gonna take no damage here, which is fantastic. This is just like what Kitty Pride can do. And then we're going to throw another special three, uh, re-enlengthen the indestructible buff, so we'll be safe. And throughout all of this, any debuffs on us, we're just healing from willpower, so, you know, we're, we're back up to 12%, so we're not just going to die right away. Uh, here again, take a combo, this dude's unblockable, but we're, uh, we're indestructible, so it's fine. Go for the intercept with my special two, and that's lights out. 
That's lights out, man. Hercules special three. So cool how you can do that. I really love the parallels with Kitty. Um, so yeah, that fight and so bad, but we came out of it on top because Herc is just a machine. And then here we have the Cosmic Ghost Rider final boss of this quest. You know, nothing super crazy going on here. Uh, he's got some energize, but yeah, not too much else. He's got some unblockable shenanigans as well. It's fine. I don't really care. Um, because we're Hercules, you know, worst case scenario, we mess up. Hope we probably won't die because <laughs> we got uh, such a big safety net, man. That's that's one of my favorite things about, you know, certain champions, just having a reliable safety net. And Hercules has such a good one, <laughs> such a good safety net. So here, pushing to the special two, I was like, do I want to bait this out? I know that I can, but nah, let me just throw the special two. Hopefully this kills. Uh, doesn't quite kill, but it does do a lot of damage. Um, but we're just gonna get the stun off, build a combo, go to special one, throw this. Again, doesn't quite kill, but we're unblockable, so we instantly start a new combo and we take him down. It's a pretty sketchy fight, but uh, we got him. So, yeah, guys, that is gonna do it for the video. Um, I, I absolutely love Hercules. I, again, I'm not a Hercules hater, dude. I is the exact opposite. One of my favorite champs. Definitely going to be my next rank four. Uh, a couple of people asked me, you know, if I had to do it again, would I rank for Herc or Kitty? And I definitely don't regret ranking up Kitty. Um, I, I do find Herc more fun to play, but I do find Kitty probably a bit more broken, which once the war season starts... I might prefer that, so yeah, but I, I hope, honestly, this war season, I, I just kind of want my team to be Herc, Kitty, Tiger, and <laughs> just, just only use them, uh, hopefully, uh, unless they're banned, but uh, that that's the team I want to be using, I, I really like the sound of that team, I feel like I can handle quite a bit with that squad, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video, I think this is my third, third ever Generic Awakening gem, the first one went to Captain Marvel Movie, the second, Kitty Pride. And now the third Hercules. So yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would really appreciate you dropping a thumbs up. It's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.